For the first step, we're going to head over to search and type in CMD. Then we're going to run it as administrator and then click on yes. Once we're on this, we're going to type in SFC space forward slash scan now and click on enter. Then you want to run this scan. We can run it in the background as you do the other methods in this video. For the second step, we're going to head over to search and type in Windows Defender Firewall. Click on it. Once we're on it, we're going to click on Allow an Apple feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Once you're on it, you want to look for Call of Duty. I don't have it installed, but once you find it, you want to click on it and then click on Change Settings. Once you've done that, you want to make sure that both of these boxes are ticked, private and public. You want to both ticked and then click on OK. For the next step, you want to head over to Ubisoft and then you want to click on your Call of Duty game. And then on the bottom where it says Next to Play, you want to click on the Settings icon. Then you want to click on Scan and Repair. And then you want to do that scan and see if that fixes the problem for you. If you want to do it for Steam, then you want to right click on your game and then click on Properties. Then you want to click on installed files and then you want to verify integrity of game files and then see if that works. For the next step, we're going to head over to search and type in game mode settings. Click on it. You want to make sure that this is turned on, but if it was already turned on, then you want to turn it off and then turn it back on again. For the next step, we're going to head over to search and type in device manager. Click on it. Once we're on it, we're going to expand display adapters. Then we're going to right click on our graphics card and click on update driver and then click on search automatically for drivers. If the best driver has already been installed, then you want to go back and click on browse my previous for drivers and then click on let me pick from a list then you want to install the second one that comes up click on next and install it then you want to restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed 